Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Long-term FAA reauthorization bill introduced in the U.S. House. Bose introduces ProFlight Aviation Headset. And first flight for new standard Lobel 201BE. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's April 18th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee has introduced a bipartisan FAA Reauthorization Act of 2018, a five-year bill to reauthorize the programs of the FAA, provide long-term stability for the nation's aviation community, continue investments in U.S. airports, and make necessary reforms to improve American competitiveness and safety in aviation. The FAA Reauthorization Act keeps our nation in the lead in aviation by putting American jobs, American innovation, and the traveling public first. Cuts Washington red tape so that our manufacturers can get products to market on time, stay competitive globally, and continue to employ millions of Americans. Encourages American innovation and aviation technologies to promote a stronger American workforce. Ensures that our airport infrastructure connects our businesses and increasing number of air travelers to the world. Gives the American traveling public a better flight experience and ensures our system remains as safe as possible for the American traveler and addresses factors related to recent incidents. Drone attorney Jonathan Ruprecht has done a deep dive into the reauthorization bill. He notes that the legislation tells the Comptroller General of the United States to do a study on appropriate fee mechanism to recover the cost of the regulation and safety oversight of unmanned aircraft and unmanned aircraft systems, and the provision of air navigation services to unmanned aircraft and unmanned aircraft systems. After the break, USAF to change aircraft rescue and firefighting standards. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip with integral backup battery safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Amand, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The U.S. Air Force has settled a lawsuit with the family of Aerobatic Hall of Fame pilot Eddie Andrini, who was fatally injured during a performance at the Travis Air Force Base in 2014. Records show that it took nearly five minutes for fire trucks to arrive at the accident scene, and by that time, Andrini had already succumbed. The USAF denied liability. As a result of the legal proceedings, the USAF says it will, as standard operating procedure, position fire trucks who have immediate access to the show line during air shows. Ames Community College of Greeley, Colorado has selected Flight One Aviation Technologies Incorporated simulators for their flight training program. Flight One Aviation Technologies Incorporated is providing Ames Community College with turnkey solutions that include all flight hardware, computers, and pre-configured software for two fixed base and eight desktop trainers. In its 2017 full-year results released on March 7, 2018, Rolls-Royce outlined its management of certain Trent 1000 engine in-service issues and the estimated costs relating to the implementation of the solutions to address those issues. As a part of the company's ongoing inspection and testing of those engines, 
it has identified a need to carry out additional engine inspections to those previously planned. Bombardier has announced that its global 7000 business jet, having completed multiple long-range flights around the world, now boasts a range of 7700 nautical miles. The new 7700 nautical mile baseline range will be a feature on the global 7000 aircraft for all existing and future customers. This enhanced performance will come at no additional cost to customers. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Bose has introduced a new active noise-canceling headset for the flight deck, the Bose ProFlight Aviation Headset. Designed for the professional pilot, the ProFlight joins the Bose A20 in the company's aviation headset line. The Bose ProFlight headset features a lightweight and comfortable in-ear configuration, three user-selectable levels of active noise cancellation, and a tap control for talk-through communication function that allows pilots to hear anyone on the flight deck that is not connected to the intercom without removing the headset or an earpiece. The Bose ProFlight Aviation Headset is FAA TSO C139A and EASA ETSO C139A certified. With an on-head weight of only 4.9 ounces, the Bose ProFlight Headset features a form factor that combines a lightweight headband for stability with an earbud configuration that rests lightly yet securely in the bowl of the ear, allowing the headset to be worn comfortably for hours at a time. Additional features include a quick-release side-swappable down cable and microphone, Bluetooth connectivity, and tap control for talk-through communication. The ProFlight Aviation headset will be available worldwide and sold in the U.S. for $995.95. Initial customer deliveries will begin the last week of May 2018. After these messages, first flight for new standard LaBelle 201BE. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. More than 50 years ago, after the first flight of the Standard LaBelle, a new chapter of glass flugel history has occurred. On April 9th, the Standard LaBelle 201BE with a registration DKLIB performed the first self-launch. The system uses a 20-kilowatt electric motor driving a 4-foot-2 bladed propeller. For Hans Jörg and Christian Steifenneder, it was an important milestone towards the certification of the system after 24 months of work. The layout of the concept was part of a bachelor degree in aeronautics of Peter Spiedel, which makes him a key person of this project. The weight of the electric LaBelle is similar to a standard LaBelle 201B, with water ballast and the stall speeds only slightly higher than an unballast standard LaBelle. On takeoff, the climb was 8 to 10 feet per second and supported projections. The noise and vibrations are reportedly a lot less compared to the normal combustion engines. The battery capacity provides a motor runtime of up to one hour. The flight test program is expected to continue for the next several months. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.